Even today, one of the deadliest hidden symptoms of HIV is stigma. When there is stigma, when it is them rather than us who suffer, then it is easier to pass cruel laws. When it is them in pain rather than us, it is easier to withdraw funding. It is easy to fund us so that we can be prevented from catching an infection. It is harder to argue for funding for them. Around the world, 37 million people are still living with HIV. Nearly 2 million became infected last year. There is an estimated $7 billion gap in the funding needed to contain the global epidemic. Homosexuality is still illegal in 78 countries. 38 of those countries are members of the Commonwealth or former British colonies. In places where prejudice thrives, so does HIV. Companies like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram cannot pretend they are purely private enterprises. I believe they have a public role and a public responsibility. I'm used to putting pressure on pharmaceutical companies. I'm used to putting pressure on governments. We have had some success with both. The pressure now needs to be applied to the tech giants. Not because I think they are bad, but because they have the capacity to do so much good. Imagine if they put their might behind debates that could counter ignorance. In so many countries, homosexuality gets wrapped up with pedophilia, even though there is no basis, in fact, for this association. Homophobia fuels shame, isolation, cruelty, and anger, and therefore HIV. But if we found ways to automatically respond to hatred with fact, the truth could be all the way around the world before falsehood has even got its boots on. Every revolutionary change brings with, a hu brings with it huge moral choices. Digital technology is our greatest yet, perhaps will be our greatest ever. As we enter a new era, the geniuses who created this industry must not hide behind its anonymity. They must use their power to help shape a new digital world that champions more humanity. Because the conflicts of tomorrow will be less about the weapons we carry in our pockets and more about the values that we carry in our hearts. How incredible if they could start with something as pernicious, as lethal as the stigma of AIDS. Because as I've said before, we have the medicine and the know-how and even a large proportion of the funds needed to end this disease. What we still lack is the global heart to do so. Diana was just one individual, albeit an exceptionally gifted and well-placed one. But technology has put that power in everybody's hands in a new and transformative way. We now have the power and the technology to do good at a greater scale than ever before, and we must seize that opportunity. Diana would expect no less. I like to think she would be proud and astonished if she could see the progress that has been made since she left us. And for those, the, and for the love of those we, who are infected today, and all those infections we can prevent tomorrow, let us bind together for the good that we can do.